So after 300 summons on the World of Heroes mission banner, I finally pulled the Yua Bako. And he's definitely one of the cooler characters in that banner. So I really wanted to get him knowing that he was a limited time character. I do not ever want to be shafted like that ever again. I feel bad if for anybody that had to go all the way to pity to even pull one character. Like if you never pulled any of them, I understand your pain now. Because I was really lucky at the start when I pulled, like, the Deku and the Todoroki instantly. But then Bakugo was just, like, the bane of my existence. But uh, we're here. I've got him awakened. This is his awakened art. And then this is uh, his pre-awakened art. You've probably seen it from my channel quite a lot. I really like the uh, aesthetics of the character. It's just that it doesn't translate well on the actual 3D model, unfortunately. Because they forget the freaking eye mask. Uh, can somebody in Japan... Like, force them to, like, put the eye mask on. Because, like, that's the most important part. It looks like it becomes a Ninja Turtle like that. Uh, anyway, I don't have him upgraded too much. I just have him at level 80. Uh, and then the uh, purple table here is on the um, first node. Uh, green table, basic table is on the sixth done. Don't think I'm going to upgrade him any further. Uh, but uh, let's look at his kit really quickly. So he's plus ultra skill is inflicts 650% damage to an enemy, deal an additional 35% damage if the enemy has a crit rate debuff. There's a lot of units that can provide a crit rate debuff, and even uh, memories that can provide a crit rate debuff, if so be that you need to do that. Uh, the first action skill here, 350% damage to one enemy, skills deal an additional 50% damage for three turns, which is a really nice buff. That's a really big buff. Uh, then the Second action skill inflicts 25% damage to one enemy. Low chance to burn the enemy for three turns, which is great when used in the chain successfully. Reduces the enemy's crit rate by 20% for three turns, which is uh, where you're going to get that extra crit rate debuff to do your plus ultra. Uh, like his uh, first action skill here, when HP is 50% or more, increased speed by 30%, fuels plus ultra gauge by 25% at the start of the battle, which is awesome. So first turn, he's going to get a really nice plus ultra boost. And then his second action skill auto skill uh, when HP is 50% or less so when you lose that ability on the first auto skill he then becomes a powerhouse increasing his own power by 30% and at the start of each wave reduces the enemy's power by 20% for three turns so he can debuff as well which is pretty cool no EX auto skills or anything like that I just like to keep it raw unless I need to put EX auto skills on them for specific events and stuff like that I feel like this guy is actually going to be pretty good for PvP I did rank him at a B for the uh, UR tier list, but let's see if I'm wrong here and see if uh, the damage really um, shows in today's video. But I feel like he's pretty good in PvP regardless, just for uh, just because of his auto skills, making it him uh, a pretty big, big powerhouse, okay? So we're going to jump into VE Tower here, because uh, this is obviously the hardest, one of the harder contents in the game. And this is where we can see how well he does in the uh, PvE section. We are going to be versing the Mirio as well as Night Eye stage because we have type advantage being green. Now we are running the Red Kirishima, which is uh, going to provide red type units a power boost. Jiro is only here for the crit rate debuff. So that's the reason why I brought her. You can use Air Force Deku who also crit rate debuffs as well. But I feel like he'll be too strong for this showcase. I want to at least... I get a few plus ultras with the Bakugo here. Now, there is a Bakugo uh, VE Tower bonus stage, but uh, there's no type advantage. And I think type advantage is a little bit better. Now, what I have on him in terms of memory is a crit rate as well as a power boost. So, he's just going to be a little bit stronger than just, you know, no memory, of course. So, let's jump into the stage and see uh, how strong Bakugo really is. All right. So, in this stage specifically, Night Eye does debuff us in our attack so we're actually gonna have to get rid of him first as you can see look at these buffs right now 30 percent power bone um decrease here we have a 60 percent power bonus here a crit rate of 20 percent increase 16 percent skill damage increase um but yeah we need to get rid of night eye asap so that's what i'm gonna be focused on so that's what I'm going to be focusing on for a bit here. But I'm not going to use the taunt ability with the Kirishima. We do want to be underneath the 40 50% um, HP so that we can get that power bonus. I do want to see how strong he can potentially be first. So let's just 
jump straight into it. The first skill here of the Bakugo increases our skill damage by 50%. 10,000 damage to start things off, which is not crazy by any means, but it is just a, a you know, a move to buff up the attack here. We'll just heal up Kirishima, because why not? Now, we do have a low chance to burn, so maybe we can get that. Yeah, keep targeting. Good, good, good. Lose the health. All right, so we got the crit, de um, crit rate decrease here. So the plus ultra, let's go watch the plus ultra animation. Should be some pretty decent damage here. So let's go check it out. Maybe we get a crit as well. I do like this plus ultra animation. It's like a machine gun fire. 29,000. That's pretty average for a UR plus ultra. Wouldn't say I'm impressed yet. I'd say a pretty good, like, like 50,000 is what I'm looking for. Now, obviously, it's not his fault. It's Night Eye's fault for debuffing. All right, so now we got the 40%, uh, the 50% here. Let's now, we can use the taunt here. Twelve thousand. And I guess we gotta heal you. Twenty-four thousand critical. That gives me hope. That definitely gives me hope for the big damage. So uh yeah, he fifty percent power now has jumped up to so yeah, as you can see from his abilities, he's got 90% power now. And he's got that 50% skill damage increase. Now we don't have the crit... Oh, do we have a crit rate debuff on Mirio? Really? Oh, nice. Okay, so we can do the plus ultra here. And it will be actually his max damage. So let's go and do that. See how much damage we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is max damage. Come on, crit. 43,000 non-critical. That's easy, like, 50k. Yeah, that's easy, 50k. See if we can get another shot. Miria definitely has a lot of health here. Alright, uh, please don't die. Oh, we got the confused. Nice. I do want the low chance on burn, too. Just to... Show you guys the burn. Uh, we'll go like this so far. So good. Oh, okay. That's fine. I was going to use that heal ability really quickly just to get that plus ultra increase. But we got a taunt here because he's got the plus ultra going. Burn? No burn. We're invincible, so Red Riot does not die there. But please don't kill my boy. We're going to heal. Baku go. Don't die! Okay, 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 okay. So... Oh, he does have... No, that's... Yeah, he does have a crit rate decrease. Okay. We can actually just plus ultra here. So we get a second chance. Oh, we lost the... F we healed because... And now I didn't think she'd heal that much, to be honest. <laughs> we did lose the 50% power bonus or 40% power bonus. That's a rip. So yeah, you do have to stay underneath. It doesn't just stay there permanently. All right, but we didn't get the crit either way, so it didn't really matter too much. That's pretty much uh, the Bakugo. I think he's a solid powerhouse, especially at level 80. He's definitely not the strongest unit in the game. I don't still find... There's not really much value on him in VE Tower, as uh, he doesn't really provide too much points, just because the only like abnormal condition that he provides is uh, the burn, which is a very low chance. And there's not much like debuffs that he can do, so that's not going to help at all. 
I pretty much I think he's more catered for that PvP. So when PvP does come out, I'll test him out then and see if my vision of him has changed. But uh, anyway, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on the daily content. But with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.